Big Duplex, the prequel. The beginning, before the beginning. All right, so to start out, this story didn't really take place in my haunted duplex. It technically took place in the house I lived in before. Oh, you clickbait little bastard. But it was my first paranormal experience that happened oh. to me, and it took place when I was seven years old. Now, I have an older sister named Danielle, and on one particular night, she had her friend Amanda stay the night. So it's the middle of the night. My sister and her friend are laying down, about to go to sleep. Meanwhile, my seven-year-old ass is knocked out in my room, probably dreaming about Harry and Marv stealing all my Pokemon cards. Now it's the <laughs> summer, so my sister has a box fan in her room because our broke asses didn't have central air. And while they're laying there trying to go to sleep, the fan keeps turning off by itself. Amanda, you dipwad, stop screwing with the fan. I'm not doing anything. It's doing it by itself. Now again, I wasn't there for this. I was in my room fending off the wet bandits with paint cans and shit. But according to my sister's testimonial, she said the fan started to shake violently. Well, that's not what box fans are supposed to do, so it no, freaked them the not. hell out. My sister starts screaming like the goddamn fan's gonna chop her head off. <coughs> her screaming wakes me up. Ah, get away from my Charizard, Marv! My dad runs into her room. What's going on? Is the house on fire? Somebody grab all the photo albums! No, it's my fan! It's possessed by the devil! My dad looks over. The fan's purring like a kitten. No problems whatsoever. What are you talking about? I just bought that thing like six months ago. It's fine. I'm not crazy. I know what I seen. That thing was shaking like a goddamn chihuahua. Yeah, well, I think you guys are smoking crack. There's nothing wrong with that fan. What do you think, Amanda? Huh? You been, uh, you been experimenting with some crack rock lately? You guys don't need to be screaming at the top of your lungs like the goddamn Backstreet Boys are in town. Good night. So now they're a little apprehensive, but they think, you know what, maybe we were smoking crack. Maybe there isn't a demon in the box fan after all, and they go back to sleep. Well, sure as shit, the next morning rolls around, and that fan starts turning off by itself again. I think it's trying to communicate with us. Are you a dead person? Oh my god, I fucking knew it. My mom walks into the room. You guys want some toaster strudels? Never mind the fucking toaster strudels, mom. There's a demon in my fan, and it's trying to talk to us. Now, my mom's pretty gullible. She sees the fan turn off, and she's like, Oh my god, they're right. Kenny, get up here with some Bibles. This box fan is haunted. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Let me know when the walls start bleeding. You guys are out of your mind. Well, that's when I walk into the room to see what all the commotion's about. What the hell's going on in here? And why the hell were you screaming last night like the goddamn Backstreet Boys were in town? There's a demon in the fan, and it's trying to talk to us. So there I am, watching my mom, who's an adult, and my sister, who's almost an adult, talk to a box fan that my dad bought from Sears. Are you an evil spirit? I think if it turns off, that means yes. And if it stays on, um, that also means yes. Now, I'm not buying it. Even my seven-year-old brain's like, uh, that fan's broken. It's not haunted. You guys are smoking crack. Can we go eat some goddamn toaster strudels now? But they keep asking it questions. Are you going to hurt any of us? What kind of stupid-ass question is that, Danielle? It's a goddamn box fan. What's it gonna do? Thank you for joining us at 13 o'clock news. This just in, a whole family was massacred late last night in their home. We have Dan Peterson at the scene. Dan, what do you have for us? Well, Tom, it's pretty fucked up. It appears a box fan from Sears got possessed by the devil and chopped everybody's heads off. Back to you, Tom. But as soon as my sister asked that question, the fan just cuts off completely. Now this is where shit gets a little real. There's a jewelry box sitting on my sister's dresser and this thing just flies off and damn near hits me in the forehead. Now, needless to say, it startled the hell out of me. But I look over, and I see my mom, my sister, and her friend all trying to squeeze their asses through the bedroom door at the same time, like some kind of Scooby-Doo cartoon. <laughs> Never mind the fucking seven-year-old boy sitting on the floor. There's a goddamn poltergeist in the house. It's every man for himself. They run out to the living room to get my dad. Get that fan out of this house. Now it's starting to throw shit at us. At this point, my dad's just sick of dealing with it, so he takes the fan, and he puts it out in the garage. That's right, a brand new box fan that was just bought from Sears is going in the garage now because my mom and my sister are afraid of it. The rest of the day, my sister's going around the house trying to talk to that evil spirit still. Are you in the toaster? Toast a strudel if you're in the toaster. But nothing ever happened while that fan stayed in the garage. Probably still in this garage to this day. But as a bonus, when my sister's friend was walking home from our house that day, a little tree branch fell right in front of her. And she was so freaked the fuck out that she sprinted all the way back to our house. Oh my god! The fan tried to kill me with a giant tree branch! Alright, that's it, Amanda. I'm calling your mom. You need to be enrolled in a rehab program because I'm sick to death of your goddamn crack rock stories. <laughs> Bruce, dude,